We're back here with uh, Darko Bruderatz, and he is the uh, conductor of the Missoula Symphony Orchestra. We're glad to have you here. Great to be here. And you're here to talk about an upcoming concert next Saturday, and you were talking, you, you sounded so passionate about this particular <laughs> um, music that will be performed next week. So let's talk a little bit about that. Yes, so this is probably the concert I've been most excited about presenting in my 10 years as music director in Missoula. Um, we're performing two very important pieces. To open the concert, we perform the Four Seasons by Vivaldi, which is probably one of the most popular, maybe the most recorded piece in music history. Uh, we have a wonderful violinist, her name is Sandy Cameron. Uh, she's young, dynamic, and she'll actually be leading the orchestra. It's, it's a small ensemble, it's about 20 musicians, so I actually uh, step off the podium and she leads the charge, so to speak. Then in the second half is probably the largest orchestral uh, piece we've performed together as an orchestra. Uh, it's the Rite of Spring by Stravinsky. And I believe we have about a hundred musicians on stage and it's so tight that we couldn't put risers up. We usually have risers for our woodwind and brass players and they simply cannot fit on them. So the entire stage is packed with musicians and here's a piece that actually caused a riot, a proper riot at its first performance. It's gripping, it's edgy, I like to say it's like heavy metal of 1913. Um, the whole concept of the piece was, it was a ballet that was, as we talked, was meant to be counterculture in every single way, in music, in choreography, in even the costumes and the designs of the set. And so people were just shocked. It was true, the, the beginning of modernism in the 20th century kind of way that we first knew of. All right. So, um, where can you tell uh, uh, the folks at home where and when this is happening? So this is uh, the last weekend of April. It's Saturday, April 29th, Sunday, April 30th. Saturday show is at 7:30 p.m. Sunday is at 3 p.m. Tickets are available on MissoulaSymphony.org, or you can call us at 721-3194. And we also have a pre-concert talk one hour before performance, which in this case really is worth coming to because it's. A lot to talk about, a lot of cool background, especially to the Rite of Spring, um, that I'll share with the audience prior to the concert. So uh, again, MissoulaSymphony.org is probably the best place to buy tickets. Great. Um, so uh, you were talking a little bit about how uh, this uh, original performance, mm -hmm. you kind of feel like it's like the heavy metal uh, yeah. of uh, <laughs> concerts. Sure. Um, you know, uh, I'll just give you uh, one simple note is Stravinsky wrote this on in Switzerland on a beautiful lake kind of like imagine you go to Flathead and you write a, write a symphony it's this beautiful nature and he writes a piece that's so edgy that his landlady like wants to kick him out because it's so <laughs> loud and rambunctious and dissonant and just crazy in fact when he was writing it he didn't know how to notate some of the rhythms he was hearing in his head uh, it's not traditional, it's not like um chak um chak kind of music. It's all like um ta um ta ta um pa um pa pa um ta um ta um ta um It's like it's jumping all over the place. And uh, so as a result, there's like eight editions of this piece that he produced in his life trying to refine what he was actually hearing. Um, so yeah, really a, the most revolutionary piece of music of the 20th century, yeah. period. And, and you also said that uh, with the Rite of Spring, it's R-I-T-E of Spring. Correct. And the, the meaning behind this is basically, um, uh, could you tell us a little bit more about the meaning? Yeah, so the, the story of the ballet, the concept of the ballet is that it describes um, an ancient pagan ritual in prehistoric Russia. And the idea is that uh, a girl is selected from the village she volunteers and she dances herself to death as a way for spring to come again and life is renewed and life can go on. So th that was the concept and uh, even the dancing itself, um, the way it was designed was meant to be controversial. So right. people went to see girls in tutus and in silk and said they saw dancers in wool costumes that danced very close to the ground. So if we think of like kind of modern contemporary dance, the first time that ever happened was also with the Red of Spring. Wow. Most revolutionary artistic statement of the 20th century. Yeah, because uh, with like with music and orchestra music and then you have ballet, I mean ballet was ballet. Everyone, right. everyone like when you think of ballet, you know what ballet is, but this yeah. is one of those things that was just like, oh wait, that's not ballet, Correct. not my ballet, yeah. that kind of thing. Exactly, that was exactly the controversy. And that's, you know, the, as soon as the ballet started, people started yelling, you know, people who were, I guess it's like, this is not music, this is not ballet, and the other people are, of course it's ballet, it is music. 
And yeah, apparently even like uh, dual invitations were exchanged at the premiere. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> People were passionate about the art. So this uh, big passion um, project, yes. uh, music that you're going to be performing next week, could you tell us once again when and where it's going to happen? So Saturday night, 7.30 p.m. at uh, Denison Theater on University of Montana campus. Sunday performance, 3 p.m. Um, tickets available at missoulasymphony.org. All right. Well, thanks for joining me. Thank you very much. And you guys should check it out. Uh, Missoula Symphony is wonderful, a lot of wonderful performances, and this one is sure to be just as wonderful, if not more so. More